Amazing Grace, and the Lord's Prayer.
Morning. Morning. It's hard to follow something like that, but <laughs> it's hard in one sense and then it's easier in another sense. Before I pray, I just want to let everybody know that most of you get one mother. I got three. One by birth, one by marriage, and one by acceptance. Two are now with the Lord and one remains. And I'm so grateful to God that I had each one of them in my life. So let's have a word of prayer. Father, first of all, as Pastor Steve said in our prayer and before we came in, you saw this day before it ever came. We equally rejoice with the fact that we know that Mrs. Webb is with you, yet we still feel a void and a loss that we'll feel for many years because you gave, us, you gave her to us for so long and we're grateful to that. And I just pray that you will continue to comfort Lenny, Larry, Leslie, Lauren, Denise, and all the beautiful grandchildren. And may they see your love in the love that came through her to them. Bless this service. Move mightily, we pray. If there's someone who doesn't know you as Savior, let this be the day for them. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Mama, Mama, you know I love you. Ooh, Mama, Mama, you're the queen of my heart. Your love is like tears from the stars. Mama, I just want you to know Loving you's like food to my soul I climbed up to the highest mountain Looked all around, couldn't find nobody I went down into the deepest valley Looked all around down there, couldn't find nobody I went across the deep blue sea Couldn't find one to compare With your grace, your love, your mercy Nobody greater, nobody greater than you I searched all over couldn't find nobody I looked high and low Still couldn't find nobody Nobody greater Nobody greater, no Nobody greater than you Nobody can heal me Like you can you are the great I am Awesome in all your ways And mighty is your hand You are he who carried out Redemption's plan You are he who carried out Redemption's plan I searched all over Couldn't find nobody I looked high and low Nobody, nobody greater, nobody greater, Jesus, nobody greater than you. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody, nobody greater. Nobody greater now, nobody greater than you.
you can do a good job. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Thank you so much for being here to remember and celebrate the life of my grandmother, our grandmother. I'm Carrie Webb. I'm the oldest grandchild. Everyone in the family knows how much I feel about that. So. Um, I am also the eldest daughter of Lenars Lenny Webb and Denise Webb Roberts, thank you. Um, I just want to, I won't stay up long, um, and I know my, my cousins are like, thank you, but um, I won't stay up long. I just want to say on behalf of the entire Webb family, all one million of us, thank you so much. My grandmother was a wonderful, loving, beautiful, sweet, quiet most times until we got in trouble and she wasn't so quiet um, woman i will truly miss her she had a wonderful family and seeing you all here representing her memory her life her love for all of you she did absolutely love you all she welcomed you into her home with open arms and just know that you being here is a wonderful tribute to her. Thank you on behalf of the family. We love you. Please don't stop coming to the house. It's still there. And I will open it up for my, my other cousins and my brother. Thank you very much. Second eldest. No, uh, hey, you know, uh, like you say, she's not here no more in the flesh, but God just got, we, we all just got another angel, period. You know, and uh, And I, you know, me, I saw her yesterday, you know, and I, and I know she's happy. I'm happy she's happy, because I already know. She already chasing ground, around grandpa talking about you something else. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's just, you know, it just hurts, you know, um, that you won't be able to see her anymore. But, you know, we all know it. It, she's having a ball. She's having a ball. And like I said, we, we, we got another strong angel, so. You don't think you get, you're going to get away with it now because it's not happening. You know, from 50, 11 times, if somebody else is going to say it or whatever, I mean, she ran down on me for everything. I thought I was slick. No, you know, it's, it's not happening. Lonnie, I've been there, done that. And I think I'm the slickest one, you know, but, you know, we love her. Like I said, we got another strong angel behind us. 
you know, let's stick together. That's all I can say. <laughs> oldest, eldest male, <clears throat> best looking. <laughs> I won't be here long. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't expect to speak today. Um, and if you will indulge me, I, I want to bring some levity here. No one walked slower than my grandmother. If we, if we all remember how my grandmother was, she took her time. I like that about her. She, we waited for her, as it should be. You know, she loved us unconditionally. As soon as you walked in the house, blood, no blood, you're a family. I can't recall a time when I was at the house when there was not someone there who I've met for the first time. You know, she and my grandfather both, who are now joined together in heaven, you know, they loved everybody. They loved people. That kind of love is rare and it's to be cherished. Um, I won't be here long, but I want to echo my sister. Um, thank you. I look at faces that I haven't seen for quite some time. I see some new faces. And on behalf of my father, my aunts, my uncle, we love you all. I'm sorry. I, I also used to, I, I'll, I'll close on this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my grandmother and I had a very playful relationship. I used to tease her about how slow she used to walk. Can they get Dorothy not next week? <laughs> um, we used to tease back and forth. I used to blame her for me being as short as I am. Um, <laughs> but never did I doubt her love. And I know she never doubted the love I have for her. That love carries on. It will carry on for generations to come. And until I see her again, my love for her is undying and cannot be expressed verbally. Love you, Grandma. Hello. Um, I'm the most intelligent cousin. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> um, I had a lot of things on my mind when, um, when Grandma made her transition because uh, well, if you know me, you know that uh, I'm very spiritual-based, so I know that the physical is not the end-all, be-all. But I just was feeling my grandmother, and it was resonating with me becoming a woman as well, and um, just was reflecting on her as a woman and as a human being because uh, her earth experience was not easy. She, she reflected such joy all the time. <laughs> she always had joy to share, joy to give, a smile to give, and laughter all the time. And I just find that quite um, remarkable from where she came from. She, she came from such an interesting story, and it's one that she didn't wallow in, she didn't stay stuck in, she rose above it and was always in the moment. I think that's part of that being so slow, it's you're all, she was always in the moment and people like that can offer so much. And uh, I feel like she was so rich as well, I feel like, uh, People who are always giving 
uh, are never in lack. Um, so I just reflect and I honor you, Grandma, as a woman and the, the legacy and the journey that you took on this planet. And um, I honor each step of it, all of it, even the parts you didn't share with us. We know that you came from a lot and we're so grateful for the platform of the family that you provided us so that we could trans transcend some of that pain and some of that past the way that you did. And I really appreciate you. Thank you. I feel like I was the favorite. <laughs> I was just over there contemplating on coming up here at all. Um, so I'm just going to read what I prepared on the program so everybody can get the good feeling of what I said because my grandma is a very big pillar in the structure of my life. Even though she's away from me, doesn't mean the pillar is broken. The pillar got stronger and it's given the gifts of omnipotence and omnipresence and this pillar would keep this roof above me wherever I go. My whole life, she held me in like a positive light. I remember being little, I don't know if I was, like, I don't remember being in school yet. That's how good my memory is. I don't even remember being in school yet, but I would go down to Shamil's house and pick the brightest yellow flower and just bring it to her just, just because. And she got me ready for school every day, never skipped a beat. She was there every day. And when I went, till I was off to college. And every time I come back home, she, I would just see her just light up every time I came in the room. And nothing, nothing made me feel better. Just seeing her radiant shine like as I walked through the room Now our light shines in all of us. And now even heaven can see brighter days. Thank you. Well, I am just Tatiana, because Keenan took the favorite spot for grandma. I was grandpa's favorite, not, not grandma's. Keenan, Keenan snatched that from me. But um, I'm not going to stay up here long, but as, as my brother said, she was always there. There was not a moment that I don't remember my grandmother, ever. Um, I'm gonna just say that she was one of the strongest women I have ever seen in my life, to where you can raise four children and then raise three more. What? After she retired. Now she retired and then raised three more. What? And was there every step of the way. And, and just seeing her morals and values makes me the woman I am today. I think I have a wonderful family. Whenever trade, my aunt, my uncle, aunt, my uncle, and my mom, like just seeing what type of woman my grandma was is instilled in them and they have instilled it in us. My brothers, my cousins, we're wonderful people because of the union we come from. And it's, it's, I'm sad that she's gone, but it's, this is a celebration. And, and we are, we're going to take her for the rest of our lives because she, her, her spirit and her, her morals are that valuable for, I mean, for me. So I'll let you guys go because I do not want to start crying, but she's touched everyone in here. Everyone that's been here has, and Carrie says she's quiet, I don't know about that. I don't know about the quiet part, but, <laughs> but just the strong woman my grandmother was will always live in all of us. Thank you, bye.
Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Shantae. The only thing I can think of is that I'm the most athletic <laughs> out of all my cousins. Um, sorry, guys. Um, just wanted to say. True that. On that note, I love you, Grandma.